Okay guys, got another UK legal knife review for you and um, this evening it's going to be of the SOG uh, Slipzilla. I've had this knife for, for quite a while, I think probably about a year I've had this, it was in my um, sort of get home bag um, I have ADC'd it for a good bit and um, basically fondled it like any other sort of knife guy and uh, just thought I would give you the review now of it uh, it's a cracking option to have it's um, very glad the way SOG made this and sort of had the UK market um, in sight for this design so we're going to go through the knife uh, we'll just go through the options with, with the knives where you can get it um, how much it's going to cost you and the uh, basically the good points and bad points of it and uh, we'll go from there so it is UK legal so that means it is non-locking now just to start off before we get to there the blade length uh, total blade length is uh, 3 inches and your cutting edge on the knife is actually uh, 2 and 3 quarter inches for, for the cutting edge now as you can see there it's made in China do you know what, what isn't made in China nowadays uh, but SOG are using their uh, 8CR13 MOV steel and uh, to be honest I quite like this steel it holds an edge really really well very easy to sharpen and uh, I've had no issues with chipping I've used this for uh, like stabbing cardboard boxes you know for um, just like for destroying packaging stuff like that there uh, cutting rope you know it's been really good I actually uh, made some feather sticks with this as well and I had no issues with it no issues with the lock up um, you know for the, for the slip joint and I was really really impressed with the knife so uh, let's give you uh, an overall look this is the uh, black bladed version it does come in a satin version as well um, but I, I quite like the, the black it's sort of you guys who like tactical gear um, sort of the, the duller finish on this particular knife um, sort of brings that out for me and um, I like it the, uh, it is a drop point blade as we can see and uh, the handle material is G10 and uh, I really really like it now uh, comparing this to the um, Spyderco's UKPK the uh, handle material isn't as rough it's sort of smoothed out a bit more um, on this particular model um, but I, I do like it we have um, sort of your liners on the inside which to be honest we don't need um, it's just adding weight to the knife which um, do you know what it's which does bring us to a downside of the knife with, with the weight of it but um, it's 3.8 ounces for the whole knife and comparing again to this one which is like nearly a 2 ounce knife you know you've got your, your pros and cons with that but if you guys if you like like a chunkier knife um, especially for UK legal carry um, this is a really good option it is a slip joint as we said so um, Spyderco actually made this um, for a UK market obviously with it being marked as UK legal but they wanted it to be a knife that was hard to deploy a knife that was um, you know that was going to give you the lockup that we need for a knife but if we again compare it to the UK PK you know deploying that is so easy and so quick for uh, a manual deployment knife uh, but if we use the SOG uh, you do need more of an effort it's sort of a two, two stage opening for the slip joint but it's a very positive um, very positive action when you're finishing when you've opened it but um, you know if you can sort of get good at it and uh, you know get opening the knife relatively fast um, but again to be honest we don't really need a knife 
in the UK that you're going to have to deploy super, super fast. You have a nice big thumb uh, hole there, which is brilliant for sort of for getting your thumb in there to uh, to deploy the knife. You can also put a cable tie, um, Crockett Twenty. Um, sort of came up with this idea of putting a, a what the Americans call a zip tie. Cable ties, what we call them, and uh, put one there. And when you're deploying your knife, you're actually digging into the um, cable tie as well, which gets your knife deployed um, faster. To be honest, didn't need it on this, and uh, you know I was happy enough. The uh, slip joint again actions really, really well. There's a tiny bit of movement side to side, up and down. You know, for a slip joint, it's actually really, really good. Um, so you can afford to um, to use this as a sort of a more medium to heavier uh, use uh, UK legal knife. You have to do put a more pressure on there um, to close the knife down. So you can actually use this quite well with uh, with the way that's sort of. Uh, the way the slip joint is manufactured. Jumping on the top is not bad. Um, it is useful. Personally, I would probably like it a wee bit more, wee bit rougher. Um, but it is very useful. And your the way the knife sort of grips in your hand, the the jumping is um, is workable. So um, very very nice work on that. Pocket clip. We've uh, a nice deep pocket carry which uh, can be flipped over for uh, left-handed and right-handed carry. It is a tip-up carry, which again, personally, I think tip-up is the way to go. And um, you guys might disagree, but um, tip-up's the way for me. And you have a nice, uh, comfortable lanyard hold. You can make a lanyard up there. Uh, Rockwell hardness on the knife is uh, 57 to 60. Um, it's... Now I'm not big up on my Rockwell hardness skills, but um, to be honest, I have again I've had no issues with the knife, no chipping, and it's held an edge really well. With the uh, slipzilla, um, you can see sort of a bit of wear um, there on the deployment, just when it's opening out. Now that was um, it doesn't really bother me, you know um, I've. I'm happy enough with having a bit of wear on my knives. If you're a wee bit more anal about your knife, then maybe this isn't one for you, but you have a nice thick knife there. The uh, overall length is 7.3 inches. Closed, it's 4.1 inches. Um, I say the weight is 3.8. So I'm not really sure what else I can tell you about the knife. It's for me. It's a heavier knife, um, but again, I don't mind that. You know, it's it's easy to carry. Um, it fits in your pocket. You sort of forget about it, and uh, when you want to deploy it, it's a bit more work than the Spyderco, but um, it's it's okay for what I need it for. So I, I'm happy enough with that. Now for pricing on this, guys in the states. Um, you're going to pay about $45 for this knife and us guys in the UK um, surprisingly we're actually going to pay less um, it's usually you pay $45 and then in the UK it's something like 50 quid you know for it, some on some knives the way it works but on uh, Heine Haynes these knives are available and uh, the black blade which is this one you'll pay $39.95 and uh, you'll get free delivery on that. With the satin knife, you will pay $35.95. So a difference of £4 if you want to go for the black blade. Personally, I love the black blade. It uh, was always going to be um, my choice. And uh, I, say I absolutely love this knife. This knife has got a lot of sort of sentimental value for me. Um, so I've had it nearly a year. I actually bought it when my daughter was born and I've got her name um, just engraved on the knife there and uh, 
I'll never be getting rid of this knife. Nice pocket clip if you do want to put a bit of engraving. Again, a bit of ideas for people as a gift. Um, get the knife engraved. It's just a nice wee sort of heirloom to have. And uh, if you guys are into that sort of thing. So, um, guys, it's a brilliant knife. Um, I really, really like it. But just when you're closing the knife, just make sure, it's obviously, hands are out of the way. Um, but it's, it's a bit harder to close. But highly recommended um, for um, EDC. Um, obviously, where the laws allow you in, uh, in the UK. And um, it's a, a brilliant knife from SOG. Uh, so, there you go, guys. That is my review of the SOG Slipzilla. And um, this one again, thank you very much for watching. Check out Heine Haynes uh, for this knife and for others at Heine.com. Uh, check me out on MrFermanaman.com for other ways to get in touch. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.